South Carolina and Alabama homecoming last night at the quad. Before the bonfire, the guest speaker, as you might expect, the head football coach of the University of Alabama. You know, we love being your coach, but one thing you can do is you're a part of the team. And tomorrow, these guys check off at the line all the time. Whatever you got to do to get juiced up, just like our players are juiced up, I want you to get juiced up so every time they come to the line of scrimmage, you're making noise so they can't hear what they're doing. Underway in Tuscaloosa. This will go to Culliver at the nine-yard line. He's a dangerous return man as well. And Culliver cuts it outside. All the way out. back as well. Garcia, his first throw. Fires down the middle. It's intercepted. Alabama coming the other way, and it's Mark Barron. He's got a convoy still on his feet. Barron down the sideline. Cuts to the middle. He might be going. Touchdown. First down and more. Blasts his way out. Ingram. First down and more. Boy, he's tough. 16. He try a 25 yard kick to give his team a 10 0 lead. And he's got it with two minutes and 13 seconds remaining. Mark Ingram, corner and more. Puts his head down. Drives his way into South Carolina territory. There for Javier Arenas, who would have been playing that corner. He plays a lot anyway, especially in a 5 DB situation. But he's man in that spot now. They're going to try oh, it again. Three in a row. Incomplete. Steve Spurrier is the only coach I've ever seen <laughs> that will continue to call play because he's over on the sideline saying, you know what? Doggone it. It's open. It's there. We should be able to score. Get that ball up and let Alshon go up and make a play. But oh. three times in a row, they're denied. They had first and on the board. 22-yard field goal attempt, and he's got it up and good. So they got the long pass play to Jeffrey. They got down to first and goal with Mo Brown, who was taken to the locker room. And then this one didn't work three times in a row. But the field goal did. 10-3, Alabama. And coached at Alabama two different times under Gene Stallings and also Mike Dubose. So a pretty special game for those two guys. And here is Ingram into the secondary. Mark Ingram in a foot race with Culliver. All the way to the 35 yard attempts with just over a minute to go in the half. And this one is good. So Lee Tippin from. Picked up 12 and got it into Alabama territory. Now back to the gun with 33 seconds to go. Garcia steps up. He's going to keep it. A lot of room to run. 35 to 30 and bumped out of bounds. Garcia, the fade again to the corner and bounces off. Marquise Johnson. <laughs> And the kick is up and good. And that will bring the first half to a close. Boy, but a big, big field goal. Nice drive by South Carolina to get it down there and get three more. So both teams with some fireworks in the last three and a half minutes of the second quarter. But as they head to the locker room, it's Alabama on their home field with a touchdown lead. Tied 13, South Carolina 6. We check in with Aaron. Coach Steven Garcia doing a good job running the ball, but what's been his biggest problem when he's in the red zone? Well, we've struggled. We've struggled all over the place offensively, but our defensive guys have hung in there. We've given, given up some run yards, but they only got 13, so hopefully we can get something going in the second half. I know you wanted him to get it to Alshon Jeffrey. You tried five times. What's the biggest problem? Well, we threw it out of the end zone once, and I guess they covered him the other times. Any update on Mo Brown, Coach? He was talking, and they say he should be okay, but he had a bad concussion. All right, thank you. Brad. All right, thank you. Halftime, 13-6, to six, Alabama in front of them now in the Wildcat formation. He's just going to take the direct snap and take off. And he might take off. Yeah. Wow. Why not? Why not? And two yards. Same thing, or so it seems. Unless he gives it off, he won't. So keep it. Weaving his way up the middle. Chewing up clock and yardage along the way as he got it down. 
You got to figure something. Third and a yard. Will he try it again? Yep. Got it again. Almost broken. You know They're not that bad. They ride the handoff to Julio Jones, and now Ingram heading to the left side, looking for a block down the sideline. Ingram all the way to first and goal. And this is just, this is an impressive thing to watch because there is no question what's going to happen. They pitch it to him here. Ingram. Touchdown. Either. Hey, there you go. We, we put Shipley up there and talked about him last week. Last week. Oklahoma really tried to shut him down today, but Mark Ingram, nobody has shut him down. Remember our half-back trivia question tonight was that they've never had a Heisman Trophy winner. They got one in the running right here. In the Wildcat, the first long run to the sideline, sets up a block, sidesteps a tackler. Obviously a little fatigue working on this South Carolina defense, but Mark Ingram, some fatigue as well. Here's the touchdown. Just a quick toss, find a crease, turn north and south, and get it right into the end zone. He said to us, I don't run any differently as far as power. And now they got to go to the end zone here. Or try to get a first down to stop the clock, which will happen at the five-yard line. The moment side, if they're going to throw a fade, they've tried it a million times already. Try it one more time and knocked away one more time. Yeah. Same guy. And they are so dialed into that. Try the other way. Maybe a flag nope. game tonight. And Alabama's about to go to 7-0. This is their third 6-0 start in the last four years. It'll be their 75th homecoming win of all time. It'll be their 11th straight win in Tuscaloosa and their 19th regular season win in a row. In the final seconds, Garcia tips, almost intercepted by Kareem Jackson. A happy bunch of Crimson Tide players around their head coach as they head to the locker room. And we check in with Aaron. I don't even know if you have enough energy. He just got connected to my coat. To even smile, back-to-back -back career games for you. When South Carolina knows what you're going to do, they know you're going to run the ball, how do you still have that much success? Um, it was just a great team effort. All 11 people on offense, you know, the receivers did a great job blocking. The off offensive line did a great job of getting their, on their guys and pushing them off the ball. And, you know, the offense had a great effort today. I mean, we struggled a little bit, but we pushed through when we needed but you can give yourself a little credit here because over 100 yards came after contact. How do you do that? I just take pride in not letting the first tackler bring me down after, uh, first tackler bring me down, you know. It, you got, it's, as a running back, you got to take pride in getting yards after carrying. You know, I, just, I have pride in my running style, pride that I can do that, so I try and do it as much as I can. Our announcers upstairs may be saying Heisman discussion for you. What do you think? Um, I'm not really worried about it. Right. I'm just trying to get better every week. Help the team win. Go enjoy your night. Thank you. Thank you. Isn't, All right, it guys. Nice, isn't it nice how Mark Ingram apologized for tripping over Aaron? He never apologized for running <laughs> over South Carolina. 20 to 6, Alabama, a winner. For Todd Blackledge, Aaron Andrews, our entire ESPN crew. Brad Nessler saying so long from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. The tide rolls to their seventh straight win. Sports Center is next.